Todd Winsman here at the Battle Report. So I was on a trip uh, last week and found out that a YouTube subscriber lived in the area and he offered to pick me up and loan me models so we could play a game. So this is uh, me playing Bretonia versus uh, Casual. He can leave a comment if he wants to reveal his, his complete uh, YouTube identity. But Casual playing his Epidemius Demons list. 2,500 points. Uh, starting on the left, he's got a Skull Cannon and then uh, some Plague Drones. In front of the Plague Drones is basically a level 4 spellcaster. Um, I think it's a great unclean one. In front of it is a single Beast of Nurgle. Then a bunch of Plague Bearers with a Battle Standard uh, in there. Uh, behind him is Epidemius. Then a unit of Plague Bearers, Furies, and another Skull Cannon. So facing him on the right. And I have no idea how to do this list. But, uh, well, let me start with this. So from right to left, I have Knights of the Realm. Grail Knights with the capes, Knights Errant, and more Knights of the Realm. So the Knights Errant uh, don't have capes but are orange. The Grail Knights have orange capes. I've got a Lord to throw a Killing Blow. He's got the plus two attacks with Potion of Full Hardiness. If I, if I remember to pop it, he'll have plus three attacks. And I've got a level four with the Crown of Command. Now, I forgot where I pulled this list from. I think, I think Thunderhammer sent it to me a long time ago. But uh, anyway, I'm not familiar with the list. I totally forgot I had Crown of Command. Uh, on, on her. Then it also has a bunch of four paladins. So in the leftmost unit I put two, my BSB as well as um, just kind of a naked one. And that's the standard to discipline units. That's where my general is supposed to go, but because I'm brain dead sometimes, I wanted my general in the knight errant unit because they have the banner of eternal flame. And so I was thinking if I give him flame attacks he'll go before everybody else in my army, he can take away regen, and we're all good. And I know the rule that if you have a magic weapon, you cannot get flaming attacks. And I just totally forgot about it. Uh, so anyway, uh, I've got a paladin in, in, that, in that knight errant unit. It's the unpainted model. And then I've got a kind of my beefed up paladin in the rightmost unit. He's got uh, the ogre blade and a one-up armor save. And then on the far, far left, I've got two trebuchets and my peg knights. I figure my, my peg knights, I want to... Uh, use just to buy my trebuchet some time and then go redirect when necessary. I don't care if the if the trebs live all game long necessarily. So a vanguard up like that. My opponent has no vanguards. Of course he has the option to go first and he takes it and he moves like that. Um, yeah, not not as aggressively as I would have expected. I, I kind of assumed that he would take his plague bears and just cram them down my throat. Uh, but then again, he has to be a little bit careful because if I get triple or quadruple charges on him, I'm probably going to win that combat and break him and, or pop him, and then he would be in trouble. Uh, his cannon over here charged my peg knights and I fled. I was actually pretty happy with that because now he can't shoot. And then we go to the reign of effing chaos, and he rolls for his magic phase the thing where you have to take a leadership test on three dice for all your units, and I roll like a five, a six, and a six for my peg knights and kill him to a man. Uh, I also lose two Grail Knights, so that was a very expensive beginning to the magic phase. Then he casts some kind of Vortex. I'm not familiar enough with the, with the lore of Nurgle, but some kind of Vortex uh, through my Battle Standard Bearers unit and kills a bunch of Knights and puts a wound on my Paladin, the one that's not a BSB, and takes a wound in the process, although I'm not sure he's really too worried about that. And then he blows up a Trebuchet. So that's, I considered that to be a rough turn one. I lost my peg knights, lost a trebuchet, and lost just a bunch of knights. So Bretoni turn one. I'm not rushing up. I really don't see any need to. Um, I don't see any benefit to doing it anyway. So I just kind of uh, reform a little bit and move my lines like that. And then during the magic phase, I throw a six dice amber spear at his great unclean one. And it goes through. I don't remember if it was irresistible. Or just a good roll, but either way, it goes through, which was just great, because I think he has a 5-up ward save, maybe a 4-up, but I think a 5-up ward save. Uh, I get past that, and then, of course, he's got a bunch of wounds, He's only he only took one during his magic phase, and I roll a 4 or a 5 or whatever it took to kill him. So that actually is very, very helpful. That means my opponent now has no magic and no shooting. It's still pretty tough in combat, but I will take it. So we go to Demon's turn two, and he, he flies his Furies up just to redirect my units over there. Still hanging... Oh, if you look at that token in front of his Plague Bearers, I got Curse of 
on here off on them. So uh, he moved them, but he couldn't march them. That's why they're kind of hanging back a little bit. And we talked about it later. You know, I'm thinking with Plague Bears, I probably just would have went ahead and marched them. Um, maybe not. Maybe he just doesn't need to. But you figure you're going to lose a third of the unit uh, to dangerous terrain, but then you're going to save half of those. So you're going to lose one-sixth of the unit, which really, I don't know. Here's the left-hand side. And his shooting epically fails, and we go to Petonia turn two. So, by the way, Epidemius is, is situated such that my trebuchet can't see him. So my trebuchet doesn't have that wonderful of a target. Um, so I decide to charge my Grail Knights into his Furies, and I take the Paladin out of my General's unit and park him in front of the unit of, of um, Beasts of Nurgle, and take the Paladin out of my BSB's unit and park him in front of the single Beast of Nurgle. So my thinking is that the um, if the single Beast of Nurgle charges, I'm just going to flee, pop through my lines, and hopefully he will fail his redirect. And if not, I think if he charges a unit, at that point he would have to charge a unit, and I think I can pop him through combat res at that point, and then on my turn be free to do whatever I need to do. So that's why I'm doing that on the left. And on the right, I just can't have those guys charging my Grail Knights. So... Yeah, there's that. Yeah, close up over there. Sorry for the pause. I just couldn't remember why I was showing that picture. Um, yeah, my trebuchet misfires and takes a wound and can't fire this turn or next. So just fantastic. Who needs a trebuchet anyway? After combat, uh, yeah, the Furies are easily dead. Um, and we go to Demon's turn three. So first off, his 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 unit of Beast and Urgle charge my Paladin and I and I hold, because I didn't want them redirecting to my Grail Knights. The Skull Cannon on the right reaches my Grail Knights, and that's bad, um, because even if I win that combat, I mean, I'm only Strength 4, he's Toughness 5, plus he gets all those impact hits. And it could be Rog, but I think because of the... of the um, He's corn. I think he's plus 1 Strength on the charge, so he's Strength 6, so that's pretty brutal. The Lone Beast and Urgle charges my Paladin, I flee, I roll a 4, <laughs> or maybe even a 3. I don't even reach my lines... He catches me and takes the guy off the table. So that did not work out quite as planned. Yeah, so it looks like that. Really worried about the Grail Knight combat. Uh, over here, he shoots and kills my trebuchet, who deserved it. And after combat, look at that. The the uh, Skull Cannon charges into the Grail Knights. He rolls a 1 for his impact hits. And either he didn't wound or I, or I got an armor reward save. Either way, yeah, we just... Did enough wounds to him that through combat res we popped him. Just, just horrible luck for the Skull Cannon. Uh, the uh, the uh, Beasts of Nurgle unit charged by Paladin. I fled. And this is on Demon's Turn 3, of course. Uh, and uh, he got stopped by the Dangerous Terrain. So I thought that was great. My General's unit is in their flank. And I've got two Night Lances in their front. And the only downside there is that if I pop him, I think I can overrun... And if I overrun, I, I can get a Night Lance into the flank of his um, Beast unit. But if I fail, then my General's going to be hung out to dry right there in front of him. So I think things are going okay. So I put two units into that unit, into this Beast of Nurgle. I um, put my General's unit into their flank. And I charge my other Night Lance into his lone Beast of Nurgle. So I'm actually really, really happy with all this. And the big thing I'm worried about, the big thing I need, is for one unit to hit the flank of that uh, of Epidemius, of the uh, Plague Bearers. So, what I forgot about was that every one of these little buggers can issue a challenge. So, the one that's touching my general issues a challenge. So, now my general has to kill it. I need to get heroic killing blow off on it, or else most of my knights can't even fight. And then is also when I realized that heroic killing blow will ignore regen, but uh, the flaming doesn't, so his normal attacks aren't going to help. So <laughs> and by the way, he does not get heroic killing blow. So after combat, it looks like that. My general actually takes a wound for his trouble because he can't even kill the stupid thing. All the knights errant can't even fight. Most of the knights of the realm can't even fight. Um, my Between the few knights of the realm that can and my grail knights, I kill a single one. And some of that may not even have been wounds. I think it may have just been combat res because he obviously had a hard time, hard time killing me and I had a charge and two ranks and a banner. Yeah, that was just really... Really, really bad. <laughs> Three ranks and a banner. 
that was really bad, my friends, because now the horde of plague bearers are going to charge the flank of my general's unit. And I forgot that I had Crown of Command. With Crown of Command, I might be okay. I mean, it's going to be tough for him to get past my armor saves, but I don't know. That's just a lot of attacks. So at this point, I'm thinking, yeah, I think this is the game. Plague bearers into the flank of my general's unit, drones into the front of my BSB's unit, uh, unkillable beasts of Nurgle tying everything up. Yeah, it looks like that. Beautifully painted demon army, by the way. I really like the basing, especially. And after combat, it looks like that. So he comes in. If you look at his beast of Nurgle, I did again like no wounds to it. He uh, he he doesn't do. He actually did a number of wounds to my general's unit. That's if you look at the upper right. That's the general's unit. So he did at least four. I think he did seven wounds to my general's unit. Just really beat him up. Uh, so we all fled away center to center, and it looks like like that. Um, yeah, so it's 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 because my Grail Knights and my Knights of the Realm are fleeing away from the Beast of Nurgle, and my General's unit was fleeing away from the um, Plague Bearers. So that's how it looks. So the the good news is he didn't catch me, and his Plague Bearers are stuck behind impassable terrain, and his Plague and um, his drones couldn't break my BSB's unit, and I think actually killed one of them. So that's nice. So now his his uh, plague bears are kind of stuck. They can't really charge through that gap because the plague bears can't charge anything, so they're stuck there, and, and they just don't. And the plague, the beast nergal are stuck there, and the plague bears are, are uh, can't fit in between them. So it gives me a chance to rally and not be charged immediately. So, but in turn four, everybody rallies. Look at that. Um, yeah, so I've got my lone paladin that fled from the Beast of Nurgle a long time ago. He swooped all around, all the way around my line, so he's at the very top right. Uh, General's unit forms in one rank, and my general's on the far side, because I want him to charge alone past that impassable terrain. Uh, Ground Knights Rally, Knights of the Realm Rally, we're all sticking there. Uh, magic Phase, I decided it worked before, it's gonna, let's try it again, because the, uh, the, the Epidemius benefit, where your number of wounds tally up, is starting to really hurt me now. My opponent's done a lot of wounds in this fight. And so I six dice sat the uh, Amber Spear at Epidemius. Same thing happens again. It goes off. He can't dispel it. Um, gets past his, his ward save. And then rolls like five wounds to kill the guy. That was huge. Not likely to happen. At ma that magic spell has really saved me so far this game. So now all the extra benefits have failed. And that's not, not a bad chunk of points I got. Uh, the token means that my BSB unit got plus one strength and toughness. So they are hanging very strong against the the plague drones. And we go to Demon's turn five. So his plague bears, all they can really do is reform and march up so he can try to charge next time. The plague the uh, beast nurgle reform facing down towards the bottom of the screen so they can move around that impassable terrain. And everybody everything is as you can see it. He has no magic, no shooting, so once we, we move real quickly, we just go straight to combat. And after combat yeah, he just couldn't do anything to me. I have plus one strength and toughness, so I'm able to do some wounds to him and overall just pop him through combat res and a, probably a bad instability test. So that was very helpful. And again, that's on my opponent's turn, which was awesome. That means now I can charge a skull cannon on my turn. So Petonian turn five, BSB's unit charges a skull cannon. Uh, the knight of the realm unit that rallied marches. The big test I had to take was when I, when I moved my BSB because of the charge, that means I did not have a reroll nor high leadership for my Knight of the Realm unit. So I needed a leadership eight test so I could march, and they passed it. If they had failed, there's really no way I could have um, gotten away from the uh, Plague Bearers. I probably would have moved the other way. If he charged, I would have fled. That probably be the best thing I could do. The um, Grail Knights went as far away as, as they could, but the Plague Bearers can still see them. And if he charges, uh, he can make it. I don't know what he needs, but it's not an impossible charge. And of course, the Grail Knights cannot flee. My general with heroic killing blow charges the beasts of Nurgle. Only one can fight him. I'm in their flank, and I can't I can't maximize because the impassable train is in the way. So he's sitting there on one or two wounds remaining. I mean, he's he's almost. I think he has he's taken two wounds, and I figure he needs to kill stuff or die because I'm pretty mad at him for not killing anything previous in the game. Yeah. So there's that, and there's the charge in the skull cannon. And after combat, yeah, so he killed one, which was nice. And then combat res and instability test popped another one. Um, 
but he still has one guy left. I'm sitting on two wounds. Uh, he doesn't have a. He, he has pretty good odds of being able to kill me, uh, but I get to go first, so hopefully I can kill him before he does me. Skull cannon, skull cannon dies, and I reform my BSB's unit. Demons turn six. There's no movement worth doing. He tries to charge the Grail Knights, and he fails the charge. We go to combat, and he kills my general. <laughs> general deserved it. And so Bretonian turn six. Take the BSB's unit into that. The guy who just killed the general, trying to get some revenge, and they pop him. And the game ends like that. So it's really funny because, you know, when he charged in the flank of my general's unit with his his um, plague bearers, I mean, everybody in the room just thought, wow, there's the game. It's going to be a crushing, tabling victory for the demons. And just getting away and having that piece of impassable block everything up, it turned this into a, a huge win for Bretonia. Uh, because I got everything off, everything off the board except for his BSB and, and those plague bearers. And that's a lot of points, no doubt. Um, but I actually ended up losing... I guess I lost a general and a paladin, maybe two. I don't think so. I think just one paladin and a couple of trebuchets and a peg, peg knights. You know, I mean stuff like that. But uh, still have most of my points on the table. So yeah, just kind of a weird, twisty game there. Hope you enjoyed it. Hey everyone, once bitten here. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As you know, YouTube has several functions you can use to interact with videos such as this. Uh, you can like the video, you can leave a comment, you can favorite the video. Uh, I want you to know that, that I appreciate it when you do things like that. It feels much more interactive than simply me talking to a screen. So if you're willing to do so, please like, comment, and favorite the videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want, and you certainly are welcome to share this video on your blog or other websites if you are so inclined. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.